Hello and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I've been looking at these jabronis here. I haven't upgraded this lot. And these are probably going to be the people that I try and get up to level 3. So, we should definitely improve these ones that we actually use. Uh, I'll probably hold off on the DPS from occultists for now. Also, Bagel hasn't had an upgrade in a while either. Even though Pete's currently higher level than Bagel, I think that Bagel is probably a stronger character simply for having both of the hexes, both of the curses open. I understand that we could like, give Pete both of the curses, but I don't want to spend the money because Pete. Um, also, Stolen needs upgrade on all the things. Probably not going to bother with this one because we don't use it too much. And you get basically everything. If it bleeds, it's actually quite a strong attack if you can make it work. Uh, and that's Doug ready. So Doug, all these people are the people who went on that failed cannon mission. Uh, I have this open, by the way, because I was looking. And we can actually upgrade the blacksmith if we accept this trade for five of these. So I'm actually going to do that. And then... The flames mold the metal. We are raising an army. Damage base, crit base. I think that crit base actually also applies to your healing crits as well. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. Uh, maybe nobody. I think it might be time for another Ellie run. <laughs> I mean, it's probably a good idea, right? That's a lot more expensive than the first level. I'm trying to upgrade. Uh, no, no, no. Upgrade this unit. Make it viable in combat. And then bring it on a run to get more money because we need more money. Some of these people could actually go with the level 3s. We could do that actually, couldn't we? We could put Ellie sort of here. Ash is actually literally speaking to me and saying that uh, they're itchy to go. They're getting bored hanging around the place, not doing anything. So then we can bring maybe uh, Viva Phonics here. And Snowlin, are you any good in the second position? No, but equally, you're no good in any position, so. You can stab. You can't fortify in vapors, which is basically all I use you for. So I think you may be incompatible with a handmaster at this point. So maybe we bring two Hellions. That would be good. One with, <laughs> uh, one without Iron Swan, because you can only use that in the front. All right, let's take Tim and swap those two around, and then Doug. You're not going to get Iron Swan. You're going to get. Alright, fuck off. <laughs> what is this shit? You fucking fuck. Ooh, they could both have breakthrough and then just keep swapping around? No, that's, that's nonsense. What are you talking about? We might as well give you Iron Swan. Because you could do everything from the second position except Iron Swan, right? And same with you. You could do everything from the second position except Iron Swan. But you've got the thing that heals yourself. This is going to be interesting, but we do have a really good healer. Right? Yeah? Right? I don't necessarily want to spend any more money upgrading, Ash, because this is the getting money... Oh, should we? This is the getting money run, right? So, we should upgrade... I don't want Mace Bash, I want Judgment now. Oh. Fuck it, done it. Uh, let's see if we've got anywhere to go that's nice and quick. Apprentice... Yo, Ash. No, you want level 3 stuff. Oh, Ash won't go on a level 2 stuff. So we'll take Pete. We'll take Bagel. I was just saying that Bagel's better than Pete for having the extra debuffs. A short apprentice run, explore 90% of the rooms. Medium apprentice, that's a boss. Medium veteran, medium veteran, medium apprentice, medium apprentice. Medium... Right, so we'll do a short apprentice, we'll get some cash. We want to do a short one because we can't afford the provisions for a long one, basically. Um, that was a very expensive upgrade because we un unlocked the next level, so. Take eight of those. Eight of those. Just one of those. But we'll take some extra keys. Uh, where are we going? The ruins. So we're going to want another key. Ah, uh, maybe not. We'll take what. We'll... Maybe a holy water. Maybe a bandage. That'll do. Trinkets. You. Not, not very good. Sort by character class restriction. Well, we know what you get. You get the same stuff all the time. You get that, and you get... I guess a 30% one. The stress is a problem, but... 
we should be able to get enough out of this run to, to afford it. Um, you, I actually did give you a heal skill thing before and it worked out okay. But you also want sort of... Yeah, we'll do this. You, you're such a support character, you might as well bring stuff along that, that deals with that stuff. One of you has got the bleed. It's you. So you get the bleed skill. Bleed skill where? Where did you go? I was just looking right at you. You've reordered everything. There we go. And max HP maybe? Everything's minus one speed. It's so upsetting. More resistances. Yeah, that seems good. There's not so much disease in the ruins, although you can get it from those spiders still. Rain skills is not great, but... That's pretty good. Um, stun skill and the... Yeah, that. More accuracy. Perfect. So let's just check that we have correctly brought everything we need. We've got shovel. It's a short mission, but you never know. I'm going to take two shovels. Uh, two keys. Food. Light. Stuff for using curios. And uh, that. Yes, I think we'll be okay with this. Let's go. I think this is only going to be a single run um, Ellie episode, although we could do a, 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 a medium run in future. The only reason I tend to do um, <laughs> two Ellie is just crazy. The only reason I tend to do two short runs is that we have we get to empty our inventory basically in between them. I mean. There's a strong chance that we just get to be, just get to press, embark again and buy the same things and do the same mission. I'm hoping not to take too much stress, is what I'm saying here. I uh, should have used a torch, didn't use a torch, that's okay. Not surprised? They are surprised. Excellent. So we'll use the torch now, because we get to go first. None of this bleeds, so if it bleeds it's maybe not that great, but it still does do quite a lot of damage. I think Wicked Hack is more likely to actually take a kill, so we should probably start with that. Or a Yawp, which will 25% stun on each of these, but it immediately debuffs us, so maybe we don't want to do that just yet. Another one yeah, that's very much worthwhile. You don't have anything to do except for maybe remove some protection from something. Oh, we've got damage and dodge removal. Damn, which one had the protection? In the last episode, I said it was you with the protection removal, but I must have been just looking... No dog crap, basically. So less dodge is going to be you. Yeah, we got you. Sorted. Iron Swan. So if you don't dodge it... Sweet. Man, you two are badass right now. Just being, being honest, I'm saying it like I see it. I do like the Hellion as a character. I mean... It's a toss-up between the Hellion and the Grave Robber as my favourite class, just for the amount of variety in the things they can do and the amount of DPS they put out and just some of the uh, more entertaining uh, actions that they have. So we don't really need to give you any um, healing just yet. Although maybe an abyssal artillery at that stage would not have been too much of a bad idea. So we'll hit this with this. Hitting this one may actually turn out to be quite difficult without eradicating these corpses which is not going to turn out to be that easy. A crit! Well done, Ellie. And some uh, stress relief as a result. That's hurty, so we should probably start healing soon. I'd like these corpses to go away, if entirely possible. Or Ellie could just kill that one straight away, which is actually really, really good, and I'm very much a fan of it. Bunch of stuff. What's this? Abomination only. 15 virtue chance. That makes sense. Uh, do you want to open this? Unlocked. We could get bad stuff, but I'm going to save the key for stuff that is genuinely locked. <coughs> I mean, that could have been trapped. Don't forget. Uh, a bit more food is actually really good. I'm not going to heal us. I'm not going to use food to heal at this stage. It's not really worthwhile. Um, because we've got a lot of combat ahead of us. Almost certainly. Chill out, though. So that's plenty of time to get Bagel to heal. So we're exploring 90% of the rooms. I do want to go to that... Let's go to that curio and then step back. 
I want to activate all the curios if possible. But I don't really want to use a shovel if I don't have to. Although we could. Stop moving. Yeah, we might as well. You, activate it. Excuse me? Pretty sure we're on it. There we go. The pack doesn't decontain loot. That's kind of what I was counting on. Don't know why I keep selecting this Hellion as if we're going to use anybody other than the Antiquarian to activate anything we come across. We've done quite well on stuff. There's a rare antique and another um, Jester Trinket, which I believe we already have one of. So we can sell it, which is valuable. And knowing about the uh, what's coming up also helps. Probably avoid that battle and get those curios, which seems valuable to me. No... Doug. Okay, I'll let you off. Wealth beyond measure. Don't do it again. Awarded to the brave and Saint the fool yeah. Of Pretty sure I called that a while ago. That skull thing then is going to be even more expensive to uh, to drag it out of them. I believe that's what that means. It means it's burned in, right? Like it's 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 taken hold. It's properly part of its personality rather than rather than just a, a minor quirk that's come along recently. You. Let you off. And this one. Loot though. Nice. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. It can though. Because it's paying for these adventurers who are in turn fighting against said otherworldly corruption. I wonder how we do against traps. I don't think we've had the opportunity to find out. You are 80, 80, 70 and 70. Well nice one. You didn't. You didn't step. success. You didn't success. Well, success. There's nothing else here, so all we did on this corridor was take damage. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Scouting helps because it gives us some idea of whether we want to go. I don't really want curio and a trap. Frick it. We're here to get the cash, right? So we might as well check out the curio. Open the thingy. Can I, can I do it? There we go. A handsome not too much, but it's not that handsome. Task well performed. There we go. You successfully disarmed this time instead of triggering it, which is the opposite of what I wanted you to do last time, but there you go. And then we'll come back and do the other curios. Obviously we're here to get money, and this is going really, really well, and it's nice and quick, and maybe I will just press embark again and see what we end up with. But I'm trying to get the cash in order to upgrade people to the next level so that we can actually try and take on that um, cannon next time with slightly higher level people. By which I mean level 2 people. Finding the I think there's several the level 2 test. people that we could stand to... Carried home. Um, no touching. That we could stand to upgrade. You're okay. Glittering this again. Gold. Trinkets and baubles. Ball. Paid for in blood. Uh, I mean, we can sell that for quite a lot. That's the thing. So maybe we just get rid of... We'll get rid of these, because they're most likely to just give us more food. Whereas, the bandage can give us uh, more valuable things, basically. Are you kidding me? There's got to be another battle. Oh, goodness. There is, but it's just there. So I brought another key. Well, let's go. I know I said I'd probably make it a short episode. I didn't mean that short. So I'll probably just do that again. I've been double clicking, and that seems to be working. That's bad, though. Minus 20 dodge. We can't even get that back from, from any uh, buffing you. That's outrageous. Clumsy it was also minus five dodge, but that's okay. Didn't really use Bagel too much in that run, but I'm I'm not gonna think in time you will know that part of me is tempted to do that again friends. without Bagel. <laughs> we could just do a like a shitload of Hellions. How many uh, Hellions have we got? Just two, I think. Have we got two of everything at this stage, apart from let's bring Penelope along, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, we'll put um Doug into beat out that new uh, issue 
disease that was just foisted upon him, which was unfortunate, but fine. Are we going to put Tim in here? I can't, so no. We'll just embark again, and everyone's perfectly well sorted out. Can I... I can actually take your things off you whilst you're in there, which is very helpful. Get these off, though. Excuse me? Thank you. Uh, so, Doug's not coming with us because he caught a disease from being in the Warrens. But I think we might as well take Penelope Puddles. Because everyone likes a jester, right? Or maybe Martinus. Where's Marty gone? A grave robber. Could work. As long as we've got the antiquarian, I don't think we can go with three people, which is a shame. But we might as well level somebody up. Uh, and you can have a couple of trinkets. What's that trinket we're going to win, though? That's really nice. We've got um, a couple of things for you, actually. Got two of these now. They're the same. Yes. And... Yes. And... Yes. Less bleed resist, but well, that's okay. We have a decent uh, healer, even though the healer might cause bleed. So you're our jester. So what, you, what skills have you got? You've got uh, AoE bleed. You've got the finale and the solo, which move you forward three and back three. And, uh, not in that order. And the buff. This one does... This one debuffs yourself. And this one debuffs them. And buffs yourself. Okay, so maybe we want a debuff trinket? We could resist your own debuff. Do you think that's an option? Possibly. Alright, let's provision for this. We've already got 15,000. We left the last mission with... Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to just go on a random mission. That's a medium. That's a long. A short one, that's what we want. We left the last mission with four before we start provisioning. I think we started with one. Thousand. <clears throat> it's nice to have a couple of shovels. We've already got that for free. Take a couple of keys. I won't bother with the medicinal oibs this time. Uh, maybe a holy water. Or two. It's hard to know what to bring, because whatever you bring, you're going to end up taking a gamble on something. But keys are fairly common. I haven't seen... I'm pretty sure the uh, bandages are actually more for the warrens than for the ruins, so we might as well just take this lot. We've got the things we need, which is a... F uh, take a stack. We're not poor anymore. We can always eat it for HP. We'll just do this one. That seems good. I feel like I've forgotten something, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. So we'll just continue like this. Pace out the halls of your lineage what are we doing? once for yeah, me. Exploration. This is unfortunate. No, Oren. So we can skip one, uh, but it's going to have to be one of those. So unfortunately, we're going to have to backtrack a few times. One, two. We have to backtrack twice here, or once here and once on one of these. Because there's no way of doing both of those without repeating yourself. It's maths, just trust me. Uh, we go here then. Oh, that's two backtracks, actually. It's always going to be one more backtrack, so we might as well just go for it. Good job. Watch your step. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. This is what we're here for, then. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I mean, we have discussed this. That's what we're here for. We're here for the treasure. And we're doing that thing that you said. Oh, you can. Well, fuck me, I guess. So no wonder people are rude about me when I didn't <laughs> even realise that you can actually find an antique in the torch. It's just a torch. Whatever. There's some scouting. A trap. <clears throat> and a curio, so we're definitely going there. 80, 80, 70, 70, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter who we use. It's, it's a roll of a die, a very oddly shaped die, but a die nonetheless. Half a D10. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to be selecting you. I'm just going to keep you selected. Of course, I had to select the um, Hellion to disarm the trap. But... Oh well. We haven't actually had any combat yet, which is slightly more stressy than anything else that's actually happened so far. The torch goes down less, 
when you're going through somewhere you've been. That's interesting. Like you've already lit this way. Hunger. Because we've been walking for so damn long. It's no wonder you're hungry. It's like the first. Um, there was a. In radiance, may we find. I suppose you call it a mod for the original Doom, and it was uh, based on the Aliens series. And the first level, there was no combat whatsoever. It was just noises. And it was freaky as all oh, fuck, mate. I shit you not. You, you you would be jump I mean this was the days when Doom was pretty scary, right? It was two and a half D type platform thing, essentially, but Well we might as well do that. Um Slowly, gently. This is how having in those days it was just a lot of action. Wow, that's pretty bad. You You just expect shit to go down. All the time. You know, Doom is turn the corner, there's a baddie. Why? That's rare. Just checking out actually had that trinket on. But that uh, aliens thing, it was just. <laughs> didn't really know what to do with yourself. You'd, you'd be wandering around this whole place, there'd be nothing happening. You would be stressing yourself out. Great is the weapon just, that just waiting for something to happen. So, this, I believe, you can use to. Distress you yourself. Yeah. Anyway, just talking about ancient patches to the the old Doom games. Let's talk about the game we are playing. But that's a really good um, a good, really good way of inciting atmosphere. Are you in the wrong fucking place? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Whatever. You can't do. Oh, I just made a grave mistake because you can't do your dodge thing from here. You can't buff everybody. Yeah, you can get some great atmosphere. I'm gonna keep talking about it. By not doing things? It's such a it's a really uh, subtle, I suppose. It happened in Doom 3. It's a subtle trick. In Doom 3 there was a, a point where you would you'd turn up in a place and you'd be wandering around and there'd be shadows and you you'd just be expecting the the theme of the thing so far, which was Oh, I did want to solo first. Okay. Um, which is that you turn a corner and get shot. You expect it to continue. And so you brace yourself, and then all of a sudden it doesn't continue. And then everything that does happen, you assume, is, is a baddie. Even though in Doom 3 there were legitimately a lot of... Um, where's the one I want? This one. There were a lot of NPCs that were... People are not on your side who didn't at least didn't attack you. There were little robots and things that were part of the Mars facility. I'm just clicking on these. <laughs> I hope you're okay with that. These dodges are really good. So we'll finale this. Ta-da! We should probably heal somebody. That's a lot of heal. And the resist is excellent. You did uh, get your own debuff, but that's okay. It's three rounds. We can Iron Swan now that you've done that. <laughs> so that works out. Plenty of um, plenty of capacity as well. So we're going to go there. So you start there solo and then you can at least do the dodge thing once. It does unlock a heading apartment. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Getting so much stuff though. Must be carried home. We're going to carry it home, Wayne. Don't you worry. So, uh, you disarm us. <sighs> We're gonna get Penelope to do it. By evil intent. You're gonna open this. Well, you could at least have found a antique in the bottom that nobody understood. These things are really valuable, it turns out. It's just, they're everywhere. All oh, they look like is little discs. Look, broken little discs. Right. Maybe we just try this? We could crit. But at least it did crit. I <laughs> wasn't expecting to. Well done, Doug. That makes up for the trap fail. I was going to say at least uh, we can abyssal artillery otherwise, but I guess we now weirdly reconstruct Doug who tripped over a trap that they were trying to disarm in the first place. Keep dodging. I'm happy with that. Yes. 
Because if it, uh, the the bleed is not really helping us in this situation, because everything seems to be skeletons, which is kind of irritating. Yeah, that was good. Well resisted. Happy with that. Keep invigorating everybody. And if you get the first go on the next round, that's pretty good. No, okay. Less accuracy. We could do it again. Yeah, we'll do it again. We can't iron swan because there's nothing there, so we don't need Doug to be in that position. You crit that, which is not what I wanted, but I think Ellie will go in for stress relief after this one. Everyone gets a bit more dodge, that's 14 now. Dodge that, obviously. Okay, maybe not. You're going to reconstruct Ellie because Ellie's starting to fall apart a little bit. Resist the bleed is what we would like to see. You kill that with one shot, which is why we brought you. You dodge that? Yes. I mean, your dodge must be high already because you're a jester, right? You've got 32 dodge, that's just OP. I don't think that's allowed to be quite fair. 8 to 12, 6 to 9. We should attack that. Uh, Bagel doesn't really need to do anything on this turn, although we could. Um, but I think there's a good. Uh, there's some chance that we kill that. I think it's worth taking it. Ah, uh, you didn't do it! Whatever. Well, you're going to be reconstructing yourself, I suppose. Oh, you can stab it. Do that then. Fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. This gives us another round, and I think that's yeah, that's last. So basically, everyone just uh, cool off a little bit. Like right, maybe we should start you at the back. One, two, three, maybe. Can you kill that? Because I'd rather you didn't. Yes. So, you're going to protect you. You're going to adrenaline... You're going to yowp. Yes, that's what we want to see. And you get to heal yourself, which is really all we want to do here. For 20! Don't mind. Pretty nice. Thank you very much. we here all week. And then you can probably finale this. No, you can't from here. So, do that again. Then anything can hit that. It's probably going to be Ellie now, yeah. Thank you. Just wanted to get Bagel back out of the scary zone there. Getting so many keys. I mean, I'm wondering whether it's even worth bringing half the stuff we bring because the Antiquarian appears to be causing us to take a lot more stuff home with us. But You move forward three, right, with this. Yeah, so you're going to go to the front. And you can do what... Yeah, you, you don't mind. So... I'm going to leave you there for now. No, it's not what I did. What's happening? Click on you. Go back there. Well, that was worth That was a... I pressed W. Look, go this way. Start walking. Stop fucking about. You take that. Of course it does. A fortune. And uh, antique. To be spent. We'll go in here because it's got a curio. There's a bell. That's okay. There's a curio. That's important. What have we got? Ah, oh, okay. Actually, you could probably do with using that, so that's really good. I'm hoping you'll find an antique in it. Right, we get around free, basically. Not for free, because they're not stunned, but... Yeah, let's speed everyone up. It means we'll probably get the first go on the next round, but at least we've got a better chance of getting the first go on the next round. You nearly killed it as well. Very close. Three, well, that's one of the worst rolls we've had, but that's probably why everybody died on the uh, cannon, not to put any pressure on you. Well, Iron Swan this, because we're quite likely to kill it, which is what happened, but also it's at the back, and we don't really want anything to be at the back, because it's difficult to hit them. We resisted that, but you are stunned and marked, so that's not great. Goodness me. I guess that's what the mark does. Resisted everything, but now you're going to die, so... <laughs> well, I mean, I hope you've made peace. Another you couldn't have attacked the Hellion, who can cure their own everything. Lands. You do that. Penelope will not get a go, and then Bagel will heal the crap out of Penelope for zero. Yep, that's an amazing heal. I'm kind of glad we bought the extra uh, food, actually. Is that it? No. Well, that's really bad. <laughs> Here, eat. You can't during a fight. Okay. 
That fight went both too well and too badly at the same time. Roll more than zero. Thank you. And of course we resist the bleed because you have bad bleed skill. This is on purpose. Stop attacking that one. Yeah, good. It's about time you dodge something, actually. I'm going to bring you along because you're difficult to hit and you just succumb to everything all at the same time. Bit, a bit, bit much, actually. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. So you're going to use this because I think it will remove a lot of stress. Or ruins adventurer. Okay. It's usually good. I think it's guaranteed to be good, but I was hoping it would give us an uh, antique as well because apparently torches do. The light, the promise of safety. Hunger. That's actually pretty good because it gives us the opportunity to heal slightly without using the food directly. We have got medicinal herbs as well. Which I think we can eat um, to cure a debuff during combat. Not too sure. Uh, you're going to be doing this. Even though it's a torch, you're still going to be doing it. Can we... I keep walking the unit up to the thing by which time it's too far. Wow! That's really good. A task well performed, you grab the torch. Oh god. That's going to be stressy. A couple of these people are going to have to go in for some... Uh, for some curative sessions. Let's, uh, let's just solo straight up. You dodged the solo. How do you dodge that? It's noise. He's got his hands over his ears. That's why. He's not listening. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. That's okay. We can uh, we can deal with that. More stress damage is fine. Thanks for uh, ruining my day with that. We'll heal you again. For two. Bagel. You dick. Right. I mean, probably this one? We didn't do the damage we wanted to do, so now we're in a bit of a position where I kind of wish we had. You dodged it. That's nice. Right, so do we finale this? I think we do. How is this happening? It's your dodge. Yeah, it's got like 20 dodge. That's ridiculous. Alright, cool. Whatever. You probably want to just get rid of that thing, to be fair. The trouble is now Bagel's tied up with his bad rolls on healing, when what we wanted him to be doing is debuffing everything else, because he rolled zero and three and all that bullshit. I'll just do this. Um, we don't get the opportunity to do the thing that means we can hit everything else. Wow. I don't understand why these things are rolling so well. We could just be doing very unluckily at this stage. Let's, um, you dodged every attack I've thrown at you. I'm just going to have to try and remove this if it doesn't dodge this. Or resist it. Yeah, debuff it. Right, there's your fucking dodge gone. You dodge that, though. Dodging an accusation, very, uh, your mother has taught you well. You lot are going to have to go in for stress relief. This has been the worst round for stress that I have had in a very long time. Like, we can't hit the thing that I'm trying to get rid of to stop the stress. And this one is right at the fucking back. Yeah, we can deal with it. Just kill this. It's so important that we kill that thing now. We need to all be alive <laughs> before anything goes completely wrong. I meant to uh, finale that. That was a mistake. Bugger. Wait. I thought you'd already had to go. Look at this stress damage. It's outrageous. At least we've got a good dodge in. Right, yow. Excellent. Your stun comes off straight away, I assume, but... 42?! <laughs> <coughs> oh, I laughed so hard I coughed. Like an old man. Finale this bastard. God for that. Uh, like that. Two damage. Not bad. Can you kill that? You might be able to. You did. That's really helpful. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
12 damage there. I can't believe we crit for 42 on that heal when you've been healing for zero beforehand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. What a number. Yeah. I mean, you've got nothing to do for now. You just need. Just dodge. Okay. Not bothered by that at all. Um. We killed it with a curse. Of course we killed it with a curse. Guess we'll take all that, thank you. We have got room, which is interesting. So too will resistance. Resistance, you say? Bring it on. I look forward to it. I'm going here. There could be a curios on the way. We're here for the um for the money. Please. A buff. No! We're not camping! <coughs> I was hoping it would be the one that gave us the um cure for our stress. Well, we've got everything we can out of this except for that curio, but I'm not going back for it. But I think everyone's going to have to go in for stress relief, which is a shame. Because we're going to get, well I want to see how much, 3,000 nah. Plus nearly 6, so we've got 9,000 from that. Come on now. So that's the cleanliness. Oh my god. Why do I have to keep getting rid of your fucking diseases? Why is everyone catching a disease from the ruins? Is it just the ruins? Or is it a result of taking the antiquarian? Level 3 antiquarian, actually, which is really nice. Alright then. D, what did you have? Lethargy. Less speed. That's fine. We don't mind about that. Stress. Everybody's stressed out. Everybody is stressed, Dave. Ellie, you're going for a drink. Look, a thousand again. Why? Why are some people a thousand and some people are 850? Explain this to me. Is it their level? You're level three. You're level three. You're level... Oh, you're only allowed one thing. You're level two. You're level three. Not allowed that. 1,000. 850. 1,000. 1,000. It must be their level. It must be when you hit level 3, they become more expensive. Okay, well, you're going to get pissed. I think it's the second time you've done that. You've done really well, actually. You've done several killing blows on enemies. You've brought us a lot of gold in. Look at that, 20,000. We've only been on two uh, two runs this episode. We're going to put Bagel in to get pissed with Ellie, who... I mean, I'm not putting Bagel in the same place as Penelope, because Bagel kept fucking completely failing to heal Penelope for an entire round, stress her out until she was you know, on on the edge of disaster and then all of a sudden healed for 42, which is about four times as much as she has HP in the first place. And Tim, I might as well just put you in uh, I kind of don't really want to, so I'm not actually going to. Uh, I'll put you in for removing this, which is pretty bad if we want to take you anywhere at all. It's only 550. So there we go. We spent about 3,000 on all of that. We do need to continue these upgrades if we can possibly manage it. So that's just going to involve a lot more hunting for resources, basically. We can actually upgrade this. So I think I, sh I, f I think? I feel like I should. So I did. You may have noticed. And then the next thing we're probably going to want to upgrade is this final step on our barracks so we can finally have all our friends going in for death. Well, that's it for this episode. In the next one, we'll probably go and try this boss again, or maybe this new one. Uh, this boss again, or this new one. What else do we have? Let's sleeping evils lie. Interesting. That means we've got to collect stuff rather than take stuff, which is interesting. So veteran, medium, short, short. So I think we'll try this 8 pounder again. I'm going to swat up on quite how to do that because I don't want to have a complete failure once again if I can avoid it. I think we have the people necessary to do so. It's going to be probably the these four, in fact. That seems like a good party. Maybe we'll take uh, Vague instead. Oh, we should level Vague up because Vague goes really well with Snowlin and Miri uh, with the marking synergies. So... That's the alternative for next episode, but we'll find out in the next episode what we do in the next episode. But until then, uh, see ya.